traced and tracked in Singapore. Thank you for tuning in to Hard News TV 2. I'm your host, Terry Lynn, and this is the channel where truth is like archaeology, and every day we're digging for it. Today is June 5th, 2020, and this article is from today out of Reuters. Singapore plans wearable virus tracing device for all. Do you see the New World Order B system yet? Singapore plans to give a wearable device that will identify people who had interacted with carriers of coronavirus for each of its 5.7 million residents in what could become one of the most comprehensive contact tracing efforts globally. Testing of the small devices, which can be worn on the end of a lanyard or carried in a handbag, follows limited take-up of an earlier smartphone-based system and has further fueled privacy concerns about contact tracing technology. The tiny city-state with one of the highest COVID caseloads in Asia is one of many countries trying to use technology to allow them to safely reopen their economies. Singapore will soon roll out the device, which does not depend on a smartphone, and may then dis distribute it to everyone in Singapore. Okay, so the people now that are saying, well, I don't have a smartphone. I don't even have a flip phone. I don't have a phone. Well, I guess they're about to find a way to get around on this. So all these people that are getting hired for these contact tracing positions, they are becoming part of the B system and don't even realize it that they are using it to enslave all of the world. The government did not specify whether carrying the device would be mandatory. I'm sure it is. The, if they got enough made for everybody. The government's earlier Trace Together app, in this together, the government's earlier Trace Together app encountered problems, especially on Apple devices, where its operating system suspends Bluetooth scanning when the app runs in the background. Okay, so they're going to get past hacking and all this, y'all. The pivot to wearables is a signal that Singapore has no immediate plans to adopt contact tracing technology from Apple and Google rolled out last month, which has several restrictions designed to protect users' privacy. Michael Vell, a lecturer in the Law on Digital Rights and Regulation at University College London, who has been involved in developing contact tracing apps. Now, see y'all? They were developing contact tracing apps a long time ago, before this coronavirus hit. It's been in the plan to trace people. Singapore has said data collected through its earlier app is encrypted and stored locally in the user's phone and will only be transferred to authorities if the individual is confirmed to be convict infected with COVID-19. Some businesses have already adopted wearables for contact tracing in locations where smartphone usage is restricted. So, I just wanted to bring you all this. Now it's going to be wearable devices. It, it won't be a very far stretch to have an implantable traceable device. We will be chipped, traced, and tracked. Okay, there won't be, I mean, this is getting, this is 1984 here. Y'all leave me your comments below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.